left to right. Young with a miss. 20 to 12. Into the corner for Redding. Young has him now. And he looks like Cunningham keeps Blair away now. He can't jam things up. Plus it takes a little energy away from the big guy. In the low post. Now he can beat him with the dribble or look at that face up jumper. Put back. Shane Clark no. However, Anderson is fouled. Bogart, I don't recognize Pitt in the interior defense. They are not rebounding to complement their defense. Check out the plays we're considering for Pontiac game-changing performance in the tournament. And while there, enter each week for a chance to win a trip for four to this year's Final Four. Only at Pontiac.com slash NCAA. And Anderson gets six rebounds a game in perfect position there. But they all shoot so well, the advantage generally is to them on the offensive rebounding. Bill Noble with a five-rebound edge now in the early going, 11-6. Dixon's back on. Anderson, one of those three senior starters, Dwayne Anderson, Dante Cunningham, and Shane Clark. But the little doesn't mind who they match up with. I mean, they have bigs on guards. Look at that. He gets his own miss. He's trapped on the baseline. And a foul call. And a little belly rub there. And sure if that's Anderson down there in the front. They read situations in a gorgeous fashion, Villanova. It's a perfect trap, but don't you love this explosive maneuver? Again, unable to finish, but they did that early in the game. The perseverance to help the offensive rebound. Not shooting foul, that's only the third. Here's Dixon, advanced fields for three. Seen that act before. And he's sure had a great ball moment. Dixon with the extra luck. That's unusual. Fields with a with a jumper for three midway through the first. Yeah, he usually saves it for cuts time. You're right at the end of the game. Tough shot. And there's the quick hand of Dixon. Well, they really, it's, it's going to stay going over. They said it was deflected. But I mean, they've got Pitt running all over the floor. I mean, their reaction defensively, all caused by good ball movement or the dribble drive. Man, had a phone accident down there. Accidental collision with uh, Fields is going to get a rest now. Corey Stokes is on. Now, Pitt's got to feel very fortunate to only be down by seven. You know, they've had opportunities to narrow it and haven't been able to, but they've got to toughen it up on this end. That's a, a little ISO. Uh, Jay Wright can't believe it, but that's what he wanted. He wanted to see if Blair could contain Cunningham. Most improved player in the Big East. Boy, that's saying a lot with the year they've had. Sure is. Now this is Ashton Gibbs, number 12. The man's field is getting a rest. And Gibbs a guy that can really run a double right away. He's, he warms up quickly. The toaster off the screen, tries to get it back. Save. And then Young. Nice move. Goes out of score. Yep. Timeout Villanova. Five point margin. comes your way tomorrow as they will figure out who is headed to Detroit for the Final Four. One against two in each region. Louisville against Michigan State. And in the south it is North Carolina against Oklahoma. The only region we know for sure a Big East team won't come out of. But now let's get back to our game in Boston. Burn Lundquist can go after it. And Cunningham. Cunningham. Well, he had been outside. Now he gets a great look as Blair does not want to go that far out after Fisher. Stripped, but out of bounds. Touch last by Pitt. And boy, Jamie is really mad at his guys. They're not rebounding. They're not paying attention to detail. Reading will inbound. 
Eight minutes to go. Nice play by Blair. Not a good one by Fisher. Hold on. Watch it. Oh, no. Take the baseline. Take the trooper with you. Well, they need some spark, and it's usually their defense that begins it. This is not a sprint in the Olympics, but the big fella scoops up the bowling ball. Just get out of the... We're in Boston, a berth in the final four in the offing here. 22-19, Villanova did have a 10-point lead. Rebounding edge, big edge, surprising for the Wildcats at 13-7. Well, you know, if you're, you're looking for something to 